Wouldn't you know it? Who do I find? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hey. Mainly, mainly Poker World here, but Poker World meets arm wrestling right here. So, Devin, one of my only non-Poker World guests in my show hey, of, of all time, basically. When, when I was uh, when I was little boy, my mommy told me, "Was man hat nicht in der Kopf, muss man haben in die Beine." Did she? You know what that means? No. What does that mean? That means what you don't have in your head. <laughs> You must have in your arms. <laughs> so between That's the true. I, I more poker world more you more use your, your the head. You, yeah. so you you certainly use the four these bad boy four. Between the right two here. of us we're a complete human being. <laughs> Joey and Devin. Okay. And, but it's great to see you. You too, man. Uh, I'm happy happy you're in Vegas. First time I think you've been in Vegas since uh since we did a show earlier this year, so you know, even traveling over the place. You work you work harder on traveling than anyone I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't I can't believe how much you do it. I how, love it. The thing is I just love it. Like yeah. I always it, it I'll tell you, it hurts to do it, mm. but in the long run You were just in Brazil and you were yeah. in you're in like South America, you were in, uh, had the match up in out in Europe as well too. Yeah. You got something what do you got coming up here man? What are we prepping for right now? I know it. Okay. Did we get? Uh, did you tell this? Did you, are you revealing the opponent for for this one? Or are you know? Are you holding off? Or what's the? Oh no! I've already won. See, okay. That's the current theme that I'm working off. Of. Okay. I've already, like. When's the rematch happening with the Russian? We get it. We get it coming. I'm gonna tell you. That's the big story in uh, the arm wrestling world. That's today. what they all want to know. For that's sure. the the thing is is right now I'll tell you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to be it. Uh -huh. uh, but North America, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's the truth. But it's okay. We've won before. Right. We won for a long time. Now you okay. see what they're doing. You see how they're training. Yes, how they're and it's a back and forth. Exactly, and it's, exactly. And it's the heaviest pendulum, right? The swing between the east and the west. Right. And, and we're talking the best, right? So we're talking the, the, the top of the right. top. So the top of the top the right of now, it just kind of happens. Guy Levon Saganishvili. I've seen him. He's a, he's a big boy. Dude. That's a <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. That's crazy, right? No, dude, that's like, insane. like. I was like, how do you someone like, arm wrestle this you're, dude, man? You're, you're a little woman. You're uh, a big woman. You're a small man. You're a man. You're a great big man. You're, you're a completely different species. Yeah. Right? If, if you haven't seen him out there, Google this man right now, and uh, th th this dude's a, it's a it's past the unit, right? Yeah. So, and, uh, anyway, so that's kind of the big news in arm wrestling, just to make it real broad brush for you. So that's that's the major thing. What, so what is hap Well, yeah, I'd say that right now, like today, if I was to tell you one thing, uh -huh. it's the presence of this dude and how devastating he really looks. Okay. Like, because you know, when when there's champions, like it's like okay, like this is the level, this is like, and you think people are close, and then it's like a dude comes out like Levon, he's like. The thing is, we all kind of thought this guy Vitaly Lelettin was number two. Uh -huh. He's this great big six eight, like natural, like just tree of a, like he just embodies arm wrestler, right. like, truck driver, like <laughs> this guy's embodied, Siberian yeah. Russian dude. Oh yeah. yeah. Like Levon killed Vitaly. Right. But you need that. You need that happen too sometimes. I know. I know. You, but test where you're at. Yeah, right. So. But this is the story. This guy over there just wrecked the guy who everybody thought was maybe the best guy. Wow. Yeah. So in, in my world of poker right now, the biggest thing we're getting over is something I covered for about a month. I did all these live streams and videos. I helped them cover one of the biggest cheating scandals ever happened on live stream poker. So I went through the tapes. I watched hours of this guy who's cheating on Sacramento named Mike Postle. Allegedly cheating, it's still in litigation now. We'll see what happens with civil lawsuits. But that was the biggest story. Everyone's paying attention to that. It was on, we got on ESPN, and uh, that was that got a lot of coverage because we never seen something where the guy could see the cards through his phone and know what oh his phone Oh my was God, at. right. Okay, yeah. so explain how he was doing that? All right, so this, this is kind of what we think is that he had someone work with him in the back who would relay the information because the cards can be tracked on, on your phone. So basically what this guy was doing, he would look down at his crotch area all the time, like <laughs> at the table like this. So he would, they were able to get the reflection or what? He's able to, in, his, in the program, they had an app oh my the, the information was relayed to him. So he knew what everyone had at the table in these big hands that he played. So he played for about over a year using this method and he won 
pulling all the money. Ah. So but it was a very small live stream. Not many people ah, watched it based gotcha. in Sacramento. So a girl that worked on the show got in touch with me and said, hey, can you take a look at this and investigate it? They're calling me an idiot. They say, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. They this basically is so said, wild. Yeah, she's an employee. I identified the exact moment, sequence of events, and hands that took place on June 22nd, 2018 that led Mike Postle to decide to cheat on the Stones live stream and turn into a man that played like this with his phone on the railing for everybody to see to a man that just two sessions later decided that he would start looking into his crotch area during pivotal moments in the hands. I'm going to show you the hands that took place. Wait. So really, being a great poker player at the high levels is being the very best cheater, right? Listen, there's a lot of it happening, man, unfortunately, hey. right? Like, there's a lot of people that are looking to cut the angles. They're, they're trying to figure out ways to see cards, to take advantage of players, to work together. Those and how is that. that viewed in the poker community? We don't I mean, it's not viewed well, right? We, we sort of recognize the, the players who are doing good for poker, who allow players to actually have a chance to win, right. who are doing, I guess, spreading positive messages. And when, when you get known as like a big cheater like this guy, you're, that sticks to you forever. Basically. So what do you guys do with a guy like that? Because he's probably good at what he does. Well, he uh, has disappeared right now, right? They, they filed a civil lawsuit against the casino, against him, and against one other guy who's a tournament director for $30 million. And what effect will this have on your culture? Well, I think that people will be more aware that this stuff's happening, so they'll be paying attention more at the home games. Because that, if you get a home game, we all get together and play a game. One of us, someone could bring tracking, kind of software like yeah. that, where you could have the cards and see that okay. kind of stuff. But what punishment are you going to give this guy? So you're well, going to get I, him? That's exactly what I, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's we'll what you guys are trying to figure out. Exactly. That's what you, you got it. Criminal. That's what they handle. It's Criminal. Like yeah. So like jail time. Maybe we'll see. Like it, not it, death. No, not yet. Yeah, would you I guys mean, ever, would any of you ever want to kill him? Well, there's a guy who was involved with like a $20 million cheating scandal in the early 2000s, and yeah. he's, still, he's still rocking. So I don't think this dude is going to get killed over a few So nobody's dollars. getting killed, killed over poker ever. Because I feel like Wild Wild West, I, like them back in the day, there's stories. They were yeah. they were killing each other. Maybe in like a private game, it's not professional, not like professional. Okay, no, no. so my whole cowboy and Indian perception of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it happens, but it's not mainstream for us. Like we don't ever, it never comes out, or we don't ever cover anything okay. like that if it does happen. Like okay. That. okay. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure people have. So no more shooting playing. each other at poker, guys. That's all a big joke. Is the, is the fans there? You shoot a lot of people out there, huh? I can see that. I don't know, man. So I, just, just around, just I feel like people there. start pulling cards out. They're gonna shoot each other. Maybe. Maybe. It started as an underground high stakes poker night. It ended in a barrage of bullets. Maybe we'll see. But yeah, that's the main thing happening, and now kind of dying down from that, and we'll see what happens here coming into the new year. But I think that's the main thing popping right now. Buddy. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I know, right? Yeah. Very nice All to right. See you. Thanks for coming. Joey Ingram, everybody. Much love, guys. You want to learn about poker? Yeah, that's a good place to go. It's a good place to go.